The story begins with a cold opening. There we see a very old man living alone in his apartment. The man eats the same old food every day, and he seems to have no family at all. After he finishes his meal, we realize that the episode is set in the early 90s, so there were no cell phones around as we have now. The old man steps into the kitchen and starts cutting an animal's carcass. The head of the animal falls to the ground, and when he tries to pick it up, he suffers a heart attack and dies. And the scene shift to a man driving to somewhere, we see him listening to right-wing propaganda as he gets closer and closer to the storage depot. We see that the managers of the depot sell the storage units and everything that is inside of them to other people. Some of the original owners of the units have died, divorced, or are in debt. Nick buys one, which is, Law 36, which belonged to the old man, now dead. Nick is in debt with some very dangerous people, and so it is revealed that he is a deal with the storage depot manager. Nick sells what he finds inside the storage units, and the manager gets a cut. Nick needs money and needs money fast, so he gets ready to search Lot 36 for anything of value. The manager shows him a tape of the old man visiting the unit. The old man used to go inside the unit with a bag full of something, and then come out with an empty bag. The old man did this for decades. Nick is not interested and goes inside the unit. Meanwhile, a woman named Amelia comes to see Eddie, hoping to visit her storage unit. Unfortunately, however, she'd already been evicted but never got the notice in the mail after moving. Eddie already sold her space to Nick, and he suggests she go talk to him to try and see if he still has any of her belongings. But as expected, Nick is not cooperative. He doesn't think she has the right to any of her things anymore since he bought the space, even when she tells him she is precious family items she doesn't want to lose. He ends up giving her a lock but no key. In the unit, Nick finds all sorts of antiques, furniture, tables, cases full of clothing, and more. He also finds an eerie photo album that includes pictures of Nazi soldiers and flags. When he leaves the facility, we see that Amelia is still waiting outside. However Nick also gets attacked by a repo man for the people he owes money to. Nick's life is a complete mess. Eddie recommends a woman named Agatha, and Nick heads there to see how much cash he can score. Though she doesn't seem interested in the candelabra despite saying it's gold, she is excited by the tabletop, which she says was used for seances. Together, the two discover drawers in the tabletop that hold three books, all of which look to be used for the occult. Agatha calls a guy named Roland up to come check out their findings, and just as she expected he's incredibly impressed by the items. Even the candelabra. He asks if there's a fourth volume, seeing as there were only three books, and tells Nick that if the collection was complete, it'd be worth $300,000. He confirms that all of these items were used for seances, which seems to make them incredibly valuable. Nick, wanting the money as soon as possible, drives them back to the storage space that night to go find the fourth book. Roland starts to fill Nick in on the owner of the storage unit, saying he knew of the family. The patriarch was apparently an evil man who gambled all of his money away and always wanted more. Apparently, he summoned an evil entity to possess his sister Dottie, who was never found. Roland's details are super creepy, but all Nick cares about is the money he might be able to earn. Nick and Roland start ransacking Lot 36 in an attempt to find the fourth book. Meanwhile, Amelia is still outside. Roland finds old newspapers with cover stories all about Dottie's appearance. While looking at every nook and cranny of Lot 36, Nick and Roland discover a secret door leading to a gloomy corridor. There are many crucifixes hung along the corridor and book pages that look like coming from the Bible and other sacred texts. At the end of the corridor, the duo finds the demon, and Nick can no longer deny what's in front of his eyes. Dottie remains trapped on the floor in the middle of a summoning circle. The woman's face is replaced with a black hole, from where tentacles reach out menacingly. The precious books stand right next to her, open over a pedestal. Ignoring Roland's warnings, Nick goes to the pedestal, smudging the summoning circle with his feet. The demon is free due to Nick's stubbornness and proceeds to devour Roland. Once Roland dies, the fourth book self-combusts, stealing Nick from his big prize. And what's worse, Nick not only lost his money, but he might also lose his life. Nick runs away from the demon, hiding in the dark quarters of the storage facility. However, the only exit door is locked from the outside. Amelia is on the other side of the door after waiting around the facility the whole day, hoping to soften Nick's heart, to no avail. So, 
Once Nick asks for help, Amelia decides to repay him the favor, turns her back, and leaves him alone. She doesn't know there's a demon on the loose, a fact that could sway her to act otherwise. But as it is, Nick's lack of compassion prevents him from escaping, and the veteran becomes food for the tentacular demon.